television channels in South Korea sounding alarms of an attack from the north. Air raid alarms have been sounded in several parts of the south after North Korea launched more ballistic missiles. So the question is, is war on the cards in the Korean peninsula? And what is Kim Jong-un's strategy? That's exactly what we are explaining today. North Korea launched short-range ballistic missiles into the ocean on Wednesday and out of the barrage of missiles launched by Kim Jong-un, one of them landed in a buffer zone. This buffer zone is just 57 kilometers away from the South Korean mainland, which is the closest a missile has been deployed since the Korean War that ended in 1953. South Korea has launched four air-to-surface missiles in response, and this was followed by air raid alarms and television messages which were asking South Koreans to seek shelter in bunkers. Several flight routes have now been cancelled across the East Sea. This raises the question if the South is actually preparing for a possible war with the North. More importantly, could this be a nuclear threat for the South and the rest of the world? North Korea, on its part, has claimed recently that it is testing missiles that are capable of deploying nuclear weapons. It said the tests were a response to the US and South Korea's joint military drills. But why nuclear weapons? The US has supported South Korea at the end of the Korean War as it looked to end communism on the peninsula. China, of course, supported the North, a communist country which was ruled by the Kim dynasty. North Korea sees the possession of nuclear weapons as a deterrence to a regime change engineered by the United States. So what are these weapons that the North is testing now? The North has tested ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and hypersonic missiles in recent times. Hypersonic missiles, of course, fly at several times the speed of sound and are capable of evading radars. The North has been developing and testing missiles that are capable of striking the United States mainland in case of war. It has tested missiles that are capable of hitting targets 10,000 kilometers away. It is unclear if these missiles are capable of deploying nuclear warheads as the North's nuclear program remains highly secretive. But American intelligence suggests that North Korea has been accelerating its nuclear weapons program for years. Experts believe that a war between the two countries will be disastrous for Kim Jong-un's military because of the support that the South has from the United States. But in case of a war with nothing to lose, Kim Jong-un's threat of deploying nuclear weapons could actually become a reality. And that is a threat for the world at large.